today's video is called Lyft's new driver enhancements. Are they better than Uber Pro? And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you two things. First, what I think is the best new enhancement that Lyft has offered. And two, is it better, in fact, than Uber Pro? Hey, everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to break down all of the enhancements which Lyft has recently announced. Uh, to improve the driver experience. Now, as you can see here, Lyft has broken their enhancements into three categories. The first one is called helping increase earnings and lower expenses. The second one is called making the app experience easier and more informative. And three is helping drivers feel safe and supported on and off the road. So I'm gonna go one by one here and sh share with you what these are and uh, what I think of them. This category, the first one we have is called tipping improvements. So Lyft is trying to make it uh, easier for the passenger to pay us more in tips, and they're doing it in a couple of ways. One is they're allowing the passenger to set a default tip percentage that they will give to all drivers. So let's say, for example, I'm comfortable giving a 20% tip to all the drivers that, that give me rides. I can set that up in the app, so when I complete a ride, I don't have to add any extra tip. It's just automatic, automatic. The 20% is going to go to the driver. The second thing is they're allowing passengers to tip during the ride. So in other words, if you're going to the airport and you don't want to have to deal with having to tip when you're you know, getting all your bags and you got to go get in line and all of that, you can say, oh, the ride's, ride's going really well. I'm going to give this guy a $5 tip. So I think both of these have the potential to increase our income I'm not sure how much. Um, I know for me as a passenger, um, I want to wait till the end of the ride and see if it was good or not. I don't want to just default and give everybody a, a, a tip because not everybody earns a tip. Um, but a lot of people will, will choose it just for the ease uh, uh, of use. They don't have to think about it. It's one less thing they have to think about. So good on you, Lyft. I think this one's going to pay us a little bit of extra money. So up to this point, you've been able to see how many cars are ahead of you, right? You're at the airport and you decided you wanna hang out a little bit, take a break and just wait for, to pick somebody up at the airport. So instead of it saying there's 42 cars ahead of you, it's gonna say there's 60 minutes ahead of you or there's 30 minutes ahead of you. This way, um, you'll have a much more realistic idea of how long you're gonna to have to wait there in line uh, before you can make a pickup. The next one is called safety precaution cancellations. So if you cancel on somebody for one of the reasons that's listed here on the screen, uh, that cancellation will not go against your cancellation rate and you will also get a cancellation fee for doing the right thing. The next one is called actionable rider feedback. So you know every week you get an email and it tells you how many ratings you got five how many ratings you got four and below and if anybody left a comment well what Lyft is going to do is if somebody gives you a four or less they're going to ask them to provide some feedback which you're then going to get in your weekly email which you can use to improve your skill as a driver so let's say for example three people gave you a four and they said uh, wasn't very friendly, okay? That was kind of the message you were getting. Well, instead of just getting the four, you're gonna get not very friendly, didn't smile much, whatever. They're gonna, you're gonna get some concrete feedback, which you can then use. So it's gonna give you a little more specificity so you know areas that you can improve on to become a better driver. I think this is great. The more feedback any of us can get, um, the better we can respond and, and improve ourselves. My favorite new feature is a, the new accept screen. So if you read or anything I've written or seen any videos, you know that I love Lyft because as I get close to a Lyft pickup, I can hit arrival, I can see the destination that we're going to and determine if it's a ride that makes sense for me. Well now what they're going to do, is similar to what Uber Pro does, is uh, if you maintain a 90% acceptance rate, on your screen, it's going to tell you um, not only how long it's going to take you to get to the pickup, but it's going to tell you the length of the ride and the direction of the ride. So let's say, for example, 
you're working downtown during rush hour and you want to stay within the city. And then you get a pickup and it says a uh, 30 minute ride and it's going to be heading east. Well, that's going to tell me that that's a ride that's going across the bridge, which I don't want to do. So instead of me having to drive close and hit the arrival button, I can right when I get the ping, I can look at that and say, no, this isn't a ride I want and decline it. So this is going to save me money and gas because I'm going to be able to focus on more rides because more of my time will be driving people rather than driving to make pickups that I'm going to cancel. So this I can't wait to get and this is definitely my favorite feature. So is this better than Uber Pro? My take is it's great but it's not as great as Uber Pro and I'll tell you why. Uber Pro actually gives us the opportunity to earn a high rank uh, in their program. So there's uh, three, four levels, partner, uh, then it goes to gold, then it goes to platinum, and then it goes to diamond. Well, if you're a platinum or diamond, you actually can earn extra money, right? At the high level, you can earn an extra 6% on all of your rides. So that's money in the bank. That would be like an extra $120 a week uh, for me. Uh, here in San Francisco. So that's real money. Over a year, that's like six, seven thousand dollars. Um, the Lyft, well, it's got a lot of a lot of benefits and things, and I've told you how great they are. Um, I would love the opportunity to earn more money, to do a really great job, really bang up job, meet these high standards, and then get rewarded with more money in my pocket. Still, it's great for us as drivers that Uber and Lyft are courting us. They want our loyalty and they're working really hard. Uh, they're all talking to drivers and getting feedback and they're taking that and turning it into all of these improvements. So that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And by all means, if you have not subscribed yet to this YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Man, this is where it's happening if you're a rideshare driver. Uh, this, is, this is the most cutting edge information. We bring you information about Lyft before it's even announced by Lyft. So um, sign up, sign up and uh, start getting notified when we're making these, uh, these videos. Hey everybody, y'all have a great day. This is Jay Crater. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really grateful. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.